So, back out. This time you're in the Brecon Beacons National Park. I can't remember what it's called in Welsh now. But uh, not on my own for a change. Got this man with me, Mr. Darren Holmes doing? of Holmes Away. How are you doing? So, my first collaboration. It's going well so far. He hasn't upset me. Um, so we've come out from Lanthony, we're heading towards the northern escarpment and the idea apparently is that I'm English going to camp in Wales, he's Welsh going to camp in England and we're going to be camping next door to each other so you'll see how that works later. It's a bit stormy up there. <laughs> promising good weather. <laughs> you said it was going to be good but cold. <laughs> I don't like a panning shot. I think I'm out with a filming expert today. All these set up shots and putting two or three together. Feeling like a bloody amateur. Do you know, I've done hardly any filming so far out on the hill with Darren and chatting away about you know the life universe and everything I keep forgetting to film anything anyway we're still on office dike we've been walking I don't know three hours or so I'm not sure how far we've walked probably got a mile or two left to go before we get up to the northern escarpment start thinking about where we're going to spend the night at the moment, the views down over into England are superb. And England, I guess you can see, is covered in sunshine. And Wales, well, not so much. Either way, it's a bit of a cold wind. Not too bad. Probably only five, 10 miles an hour, if that. Oh, I'll tell you what, you walk quite fast though. <laughs> right. So I'll catch up with you when we get somewhere where we can probably see over the end and we got some idea where we're pitching. Still yomping up this uh, offers dike. Based on today's experience, I don't think I want to walk to uh, the other end of Wales like this. It just goes on forever, I think. Darren's watch says we walked about eight miles with still about a mile to go. And then I have to look for somewhere to, to pitch. It's not looking great at the moment. Yeah, lots of heather, tufty grass. The sun is determined it's going to shine on England and not on Wales, which is a bit annoying. We're here, we were able to see right across the White and Severn Valleys in the sunshine. And as you can see where we are. Lots of these bags here full of gravel. It's a bit weird by the stone path, maybe they're trying to fill in the, uh, the water either side, who knows. Just walked past some, some of the wild wash ponies, one with a babby, very nice. And we're just coming up to the trig point at the top of Hay Bluff. At last, my word, this is a long ridge. to put it. That's behind. It's not a black monolith, but a monolith it is. Cool. Could have parked it somewhere other than in the middle of a bog. Or maybe it wasn't in a bog when he parked it. Maybe it's become a bog because of all the idiots like us coming to see it. But hey ho. So, time to find a pitch. Get a tent up. Get a kettle on, all that stuff. We arrived at our campsite for the night. So the way this works is, that bit over there is England, where Darren's gonna camp. And this over here is Wales. And that's my pitch for the night, down in here. So there's England. 
Still England. Still England. Wales. Ah, you can't really see Wales, it's gone all hazy, but right across to the central beacons. So, fair view. Somewhere to sit, drink beer, talk shite all night. That's us. It's turned out to be a beautiful evening. It's good out here, isn't it? Eh? I always find these really hard to put in. getting cold now it's about eight o'clock we're just waiting for the sun to uh, start coloring the sky up we've been sitting around talking about this that and just about everything for the last hour hour and a half we really I as you know I've been out in the beacons a lot while camping and why I've never come here before I don't know because the views are absolutely incredible just look behind me, you can see there's England down there. And looking the other way, we've got the Welsh mountains. And right in the distance is Penavan. Just hazy, hazy a bit. Looking down into the Wye Valley and it's absolutely lovely. Ah. Right, I'm going to set up a time lapse. Maybe have a beer and a bit more chat with Darren. And uh, we've been inspecting each other's tents and we were both apparently pretty happy with our tents. It's got to be a bit unusual, but there you go. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down behind. Looks like it's going to be behind a cloud, but I'm going to time lapse it. And I'll talk to you a bit later. Time for dinner. So, Turns out if you get a forester and a washman together, the 10 minute chat turns into several hours. So it's 10 o'clock and we're only just getting around to food. So tonight I have another steak detective meal. Steak, vegetables and dumplings. So get that in the cooker. Boil that up for a few minutes and get stuck into that before I starve to death. Probably an art in this, but I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, we'll get that in there. I'll do. So steak detective, steak, vegetable and dumplings. What's the third one of these? Um, meals I've had from this place and they've all been good. So I'm impressed. Right, I'll get this down me. Talk to you in a bit. I've been talking to Darren for even more hours. It's well gone 11 now. I've just got into bed. Just finishing up my last brew of the night. It's um, some nice warming tomato soup before I lie down. Try and get some sleep. It's very quiet up here. Amazing 270 views. And since it's been dark, we can see villages all the way around. We we think we've, well, we've identified Hay on White, which is just down the bottom here, but we think we've identified Hereford, right over the back. And, and lots of little villages and farms scattered all over the hills. It's really pretty. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep now, and I'll see you in the morning. Night. Well, good morning. As you can see, unusually for me, there's no clag. Not on top of the hill anyway. And uh, just been talking to Darren. Apparently he did wake up a couple of minutes before sunrise, but there wasn't one to speak of, so I'm glad I didn't bother getting out for that. 
but look at this view. So right over there, well, as I said last night, the first one's Lord Hereford's Knob and then Penivan, Panfrunuk, etc. over there. And there's a belt of, I don't know, you wouldn't call it a cloud inversion, but maybe fog or something down in the valleys in the distance. All the way around. Absolutely lovely. But yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely place. There is evidence of fire pits here that have been uh, covered over again with, with turf, which is a huge shame, I guess, but I could see why people will come up here. But, you know, don't light fires, guys. Time for some breakfast, get the coffee on, get me yogurt out. Could do with the bacon and eggs, actually. I had a couple of fried breakfasts lately, I must say. Don't do it very often, but yeah, really should. Okay, let's get some uh, get some food on. Better get me hat on straight, and I get told off else. So I'm going to sit on the edge of the world and have my breakfast. The wind's a bit cold, but you know, I'll put up with it. In the interest of my viewers, and I'm going to have a cold breakfast as well. But never mind. Apricot, two mango, and passion fruit. Never used to like like yogurt. Shied away from it for years and years. I still don't like the plain stuff, you know. It's got to have some sort of flavour. So we've been chewing the cud again, and. Uh, putting up with some spitting rain. Guess what idiot left his tent door open and has a wet inner. Never mind, live and learn, eh? Right, I'm gonna dry that off, pack it up, and we're gonna get out of Dodge. Right, time to go home. Just properly introduce you to my mate, my new friend here, <laughs> young Darren. How you going, guys? How are you doing, Bat? So, yeah, I just wanted to thank Darren for inviting me out on this. It's all right, man. Anytime. Or maybe asking him, asking me to show him England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen enough now. Yeah, enough. Let's get back to Wales. <laughs> Check him out. Holmes away. Nice back catalogue if you want to see a slightly shaky view of the coast to coast. <laughs> yeah. On an old rickety GoPro Hero 4 from yeah. years ago. Don't forget to check him out. Home's away. Okay? Right, we're going to pack up and go now. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. So, uh, one of my hikes. Not really a hike until I've tapped a trigger and fallen in a bog. And I've just managed that. So, uh, hike complete more or less. We're just going down towards Cap Elephant and uh, see what we can find down there because neither of us have ever been there. So why not? So this is where we're heading. It's Darren striding out in front as normal. Well, almost back in the valley. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. And thank you for Darren asking me out. It's been great fun. Really enjoyed myself. Anyway, don't forget, hopefully a video out at least every three weeks. So with luck, I'll see you in the next one. It's the wind that does me really, rather than the rain. But if you get wind and rain, it's a total bugger. <laughs>